Preserving collective memory is one of the fundamentals of democracy. Welcome to the Archive of the European Parliament. The Archives Unit is in charge of uh, preserving, managing and processing all the documents that have been produced and received by the European Parliament since 1952. We have documents related to the legislation, we have documents related to the internal administration, all the plenary documents. We can find uh, resolutions that the Parliament has been taken, positions of the Parliament in the past, or like the negotiations with the other institutions. We started with tens of thousands of documents, we moved to hundreds of thousands, now we are to millions of documents. We decided to provide a way to navigate inside a huge document set. The arrival of generative AI is something that was a real shift. Archibot is a simple and intuitive tool that helps us and the researcher to find documents and to build reports based on the documents. It's available on our website. We have users uh, from Gabon and from Australia. It can be accessed from everywhere. We built Archibot using Anthropix Cloud technology. And there was one point that got our attention. This is constitutional AI. We wanted that the answer provided by the large language model is a trustworthy answer. The most important thing for us is trust. We wanted to make sure about one thing. If we use generative AI, we permanently need to be under control of the solution that we've built. We didn't want to have any data that could be collected or extracted for other purposes. We absolutely want that people know where the information is coming from. Previously, we had only the French as a language that we could use, so we needed to move multilingual so that all countries could have an access to our archives. Accuracy, reliability, and the multilingualism uh, capacities are for us crucial. I can't imagine, honestly, how much time it is saving because yeah, the archives are huge. As a researcher, it makes my work way easier. It's also way more easy for policymakers, educators, and whoever is interested. Within the European Parliament, we have shown that we can use generative AI in a controlled way. This multilingualism and the summarizing capacity of huge document sets was really a shift from generative AI in our domain. The access to information and all the tools we provide in order to be able to make use of this information are really at the foundations of a democratic project. <laughs>